If you'd like to learn how I target niche markets that I'm passionate about to maximize profits, then stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something kind of fun. This is going to be a little bit crafty, but we are going to utilize not just one, not just two, but we're going to use three different devices to make a fun little project. And I want to talk to you about how to really focus on a niche market. So often, you know, we makers and when you decide to go into creating your own small business, um, it's easy to start looking at, you know, what is everybody else doing? And you can go out there and you can find projects and files and you start creating uh, something. But unfortunately, if you're creating something that everybody else is creating, then you're competing with all of those people. So I'm going to talk about, you know, finding that niche. Now, for me, one of the uh, fortunate things, um, you know, recently my favorite band, 21 Pilots, they came out with a new album. They started, they went on wor a world tour. I was fortunate enough to go see the concert. And, you know, it just really got me hyped up and I was able to, you know, uh, target the fan base there um, with products. And I'll tell you, the, the August, September, October, those were the, the best three uh, months that I've had of my business um, all year because I started making um, things that that fan base would work. Now, it, when you're looking at, you know, like Christmas ornaments, something like that, if you're making santa things or or just the traditional um items then again you're competing with everybody yeah you have a really big uh potential um purchasing base but when there's all those other people out there you know it, the competition is fierce so by looking at a niche market now that can be you know that could be a band that could be something that you're into uh fishing etc um when you narrow down that market yes you have fewer people but if it's something that they're passionate about, then they're much more likely to, you know, uh, hand over some money for something that you've created, especially if it's unique. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to work on an ornament. And like I said, um, it's going to be a wood-based ornament. So we're going to use the CO2 laser to cut out the wood base. And, you know, from an economical standpoint, sometimes it's cheaper to use other tools. I could also create, you know, the, the other elements of this in wood or acrylic and just do it all on the co2 laser but that is going to take extra time and you know that laser i just ha I have to watch it you got to be careful so i have minimal amount of time that i can be doing those things um, but by incorporating some of the other tools that i have i am able to you know like with the 3d printers i can print many many uh pieces for a lot of ornaments and those can be running while i'm doing something else and then this is the first project that I'm utilizing the fiber laser into, and it has some unique properties and it's very fast. So we're going to use that. So we're going to kind of go through the, the whole process very quickly, and uh, then we'll come back and wrap things up. So let's get into it. All right. So we've got our design laid out here in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm not going to go into all the details here, but uh, I do want to give you one tip. If you use your path colors, uh, here, so your your stroke color, and if you set each kind of item to its own unique color, when you import that into Lightburn, it will show up, and each layer, it, you know, every color will be on a different layer, and that will enable you to um, easily group all of your paths, things like that, and then if you do need to turn off a certain um, item there because you don't want it to uh, be engraved, like for example. All I need is the outline of this square here because I'm going to uh, probably print this or make this a separate piece. So I only need the square. I don't need to spend time on the laser doing all of these details. But this gives you much more control over uh, what you get into Lightburn. Before we dive too deep into this project, I want to thank Ujoy Bio 3D for sponsoring this and agreeing to send out some filament so that we could uh, do this project. So check them out. They're available. You can see the website there. They're also available on Amazon. 
The two colors of filament that we are going to use for this project today are the metallic PLA copper. And you can see we have hyper PLA in green and you can see the uh, printing specifications that they put on the roll right there. All right, now I've got Bamboo Studio open, which is the slicer for my uh, Bamboo Lab 3D printers. And I've got my Christmas tree loaded. And what I need to do is just change the dimensions on this. So as we measured, uh, it was roughly 40 millimeters. I want to check uniform scale here because I'm going to change the Y and I want all the other dimensions to follow suit. So I'll make that 40 millimeters. Now we have a much smaller Christmas tree. But one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck uniform scale and it's made this extremely thin. That's only about one layer uh, height of filament, but I want this tree to be about two millimeters tall so that it actually stands out uh, off of the ornament. So now I've got that done and we can go ahead and slice it. And now we will send this to the printer. And we are almost done with this print. All right, now we're going to use our third machine. We're going to come over here to the fiber laser. We're going to put a little bit of a Spotify mark on this guy right here. Just takes a couple seconds, as you can see there. Now that we have all the pieces cut out, all we have to do is glue them onto the base. Now, I really like to use this clear Gorilla Glue. I find that it uh, works well. It's not terribly messy and... Yeah, it dries clear, which is huge. You know, in the past, um, I've used things like um, the uh, super glue, um, and it just it can it can be quite a mess. It's been a while since I've used this glue, so there we go. It's coming out now. But yeah, the super glue, you know, it has that tendency to dry, um, and then kind of turn white, which is never a good thing. So as you can see here. Uh, that's the reason we put the outlines there. So that makes placing everything easy. Um, if you were doing a lot of these, you could make a jig for it and uh, just drop everything in place. But uh, this is going to go like a snap. All right, and there you have it. We got it all glued up. Now, this is why it's important to do a prototype first, because I realize when I 3D print these parts, um, the uh, texture on the build plate comes off, and it actually makes a nice little... A texture on the plastic and that's the side that I want to uh, be up and that is the reverse image so you can kind of see the little outline of my Christmas tree peeking out from the bottom so that's just going to be an easy inversion in the light burn and so for my final run I will just flip that and then we'll be good to go and of course we're going to add a little bit of a little bit of string here i like to use this wax thread and that gives us a nice little finished product and we have a wonderful ornament well there you have it i think that was a fun little project and i think this is a an ornament i'm very proud of it and i think the uh 21 pilots fans out there will really be excited about it uh, as well it's got so many fun elements on there and uh, that little spotify link at the bottom you point your camera at it. When you have the Spotify app open, it'll open the uh, Clancy album. So that's pretty cool. Um, once again, I want to thank you, Joy Bio 3 d for providing the filament for today's project. And uh, this stuff is it's really neat. Um, this metallic, this is the copper color metallic. And as you can see, I know we didn't use a whole lot of that in this project, but I did uh, print a bunch of other stuff with it, and it works pretty well. Just a little bit of tweaking to get the settings right and then you've got a filament that you can trust and enjoy so i hope that you've been you know you found the content here today in this video very useful and you can see how taking something that you're passionate about and then finding uh, a product that you can create that other people that share your passion will be excited about and hopefully uh, that will you know translate into sales for your business so as always, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the little like button, hit that subscribe button, and then go ahead and hit the little bell so that you know when I drop new content. I'm enjoying the time that we uh, have spent here together today, as always. And I guess, you know, it's about time. Uh, we've got so many things going on. I guess, you know, we learn together, we burn together, we 3D print together. Um, just so much. Uh, and I enjoy every little bit of time that I get to spend with y'all. So once again, take care.